Hi, my name is Bonnie Biafor. I'm the author of QuickBooks 2010, The Missing Manual. Today I'm going to talk about order in the invoice table. That is, how to get items in the correct order in an invoice so that you can do things like calculate percentage discounts or shipping charges. I'm going to start with why the order of items is important in an invoice. And to explain that, I'll talk about how percentage-based items work. That is, percentage-based items like discounts, shipping charges, markups. I'll also talk about how to use subtotals when you want to apply a percentage to more than one item at a time. And then I'll show you how to get the items in the right order in an invoice table. If you forget something, an item that you want to add or perhaps an extra discount, I'll show you how to insert and delete item lines in a table. And finally, I'll talk a little bit about another way to apply discounts and markups with QuickBooks price levels. So here's an invoice that I've started in QuickBooks, and it already has three service items on it. But I'm planning to add some products to this invoice as well, and I want to add a percentage-based shipping charge. So I need a way to separate the amount for the service items from the products. And the way we do that is with a subtotal. Now the subtotal item that I've added here does only one thing. It subtotals all of the previous lines in the invoice table either up to the beginning of the table as we see here or to the previous subtotal which you will see shortly. So now that I have a subtotal for the service items I can add a few products to this invoice. I'll add a few cipher locks, perhaps a few webcams to see what's going on in the facility, and a single security station for somebody to check on everything that's going on. So I have these three products and I want to apply a percentage-based shipping charge to the total for all three. So just as I did for services, I will add one more subtotal item. And in this particular case, you see that the subtotal goes up to the previous subtotal. So it, it adds up the, the values for the three products that I added. So now I'm ready to add the percentage-based shipping charge. That's another item in this company file. It says value-based shipping charge because it applies a 10% charge based on the value of the products. You can see that it calculates 10% of the previous line, which is the subtotal of all of the products that I have on this invoice. Now what if I also have a monthly special on a, on a single product that I sell? In that case, I want to add a discount just to the one line item. Now in this, in, in this particular invoice, all of the lines are in the right order so far, but I really need to add a discount right below this cipher lock. To do that, I right click the line below and on the shortcut menu choose Insert Line. QuickBooks pushes everything down one line and puts in the blank line which I can now use for my discount. I have a special sale discount item, which is just the discount for monthly specials. It's a 10% discount. And you can see here that by adding it, it applies a 10% discount to the line above, which is the line for the cipher locks. And if you're watching carefully, you'll notice that the subtotal item now has a smaller amount because it reflects this discount that I've added. And that also means that the percentage-based shipping charge is lower as well. If I wanted to delete a line for some reason, again right-click and just choose Delete Line on the shortcut menu. Now there's another way that you can apply discounts or markups in an invoice, and that's with QuickBooks price levels. 
Price levels actually can apply to a customer or to a specific item in an invoice. If you apply a price level to a customer, I'm going to open the Edit Customer dialog box and go to the Additional Info tab, the price level drop-down shows different price levels that I've defined in this company file. If I choose a price level here, that means that every single item on every invoice for this customer will use that price level. However, in this case, I actually want to show a price level just for one item. And if I click a rate cell for an item in an invoice, I see the drop-down arrow, click that drop-down arrow, I can apply any of those price levels just to this one item. So for example, if I wanted to apply the service plan, which is a discount because this customer has signed up for a service plan, it automatically changes the rate. Now one of the reasons that I prefer to use a discount item as opposed to a, a price level is that you can see that there's really no indication here that there's a price level applied. So if you use a price level for a discount, the customer doesn't know that you've discounted the rate. Whereas a discount item makes it very clear that you're deducting a discount and that helps the customer remember that you're doing something nice for them. Now there's one other place that percentages can crop up in an invoice and that happens with sales tax when you're selling products. Uh, I won't go into how you set up sales tax but I will just say that QuickBooks really does the work for you once you have things set up. If you specify that a customer is subject to sales tax, QuickBooks will go through and add up the values for all of the taxable items which you see over here in the tax column and then applies the appropriate sales tax item for that customer to calculate the sales tax. And that's really all there is to getting items in an invoice in the correct order.